Hey, Psych Central fans, Dr. John Rawl coming to you direct from our offices in Newburyport, Massachusetts, live, well, not quite live, but close enough. I'm here to talk today about a YouTube channel called The Rewire Soul that's hosted by Chris Boutte. Chris Boutte is a mental health advocate who seems to have gotten himself into a little bit of trouble in the past year or so when he went away from his focus and mission which was helping people understand mental health issues which i think is a very valuable mission one that we we encourage and hope more and more people share their stories on youtube unfortunately his channel kind of took a turn for the worse when it started to diagnose other youtubers and celebrities um, technically, maybe it would be okay, but probably not if he was a professional of some type, a, you know, a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a therapist, has a licensure in uh, mental health counseling or something of that nature. Chris doesn't have any of those things, and that's a problem. That's what helps protect the public and ensure that people who have very little training or no training, maybe just a high school degree, uh, not to say there's anything wrong with just having a high school degree, but you shouldn't probably be getting your mental health advice and diagnoses from someone who uh, is well-meaning and, and seemingly well-intentioned but is doing it from afar. He's doing diagnosis from afar, which is generally a no-no in, in uh, amongst professionals in uh, psychology, psychiatry, clinical social work, you name it. If you are a mental health professional, you probably don't do a lot of diagnosis of people you've never met. So Chris, listen, I think your intentions were probably really good at the start, and I give you a lot of kudos for that. And I encourage you to go back to your roots, find the voice where you spoke honestly and eloquently about your own struggles with mental health, uh, talking to other people about mental health issues and their stories, I think is very powerful. I don't think you need to be spending any time talking about or trying to diagnose other people, celebrities, just to try and increase your follower count. I think that's just a really um, not helpful contribution to mental health advocacy. And I actually think it does harm not only to the mental health community, but to anyone who's ever talked about mental health or has a mental um, health diagnosis. It, it, it sort of belittles the whole struggle and journey that so many people go on when you can just, you know, whip out your, your diagnosis, um, you know, book or opinion and just start diagnosing people uh, that you've never met, that you've never had a clinical interview with. This is not a good idea. And I would highly recommend and encourage you to stop doing it um, take a long, hard look at what you're doing and your 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 true purpose and, and goals for your advocacy work. I think you can continue doing a lot of good in this world, but I think now is a good time to um, take a break. And I encourage you to go back to your roots and help people with the way you used to help them which was by talking about mental health in an open and honest manner. I'm Dr. John Grohal for Psych Central. Thank you.